Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch. And today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. Now, I've always said if there is a bundle of interest to game developers, I will buy it, let you know what you are going to get. And this one is no exception. Now, you might be sitting there going, wait a minute, Java? Java's used for game development? And yes, we'll cover that a bit too. At the end of this video, I'll walk through a couple of the more common frameworks and game engines out there. So if you want to look at doing game development with Java, I got you covered. But first, let's take a look at this bundle. Now, if you're not familiar with how humble bundles work, basically it's a collection of stuff, in this case, ebooks around a common theme, in this case, Java programming. You decide how your money is allocated between charity, between the publisher, uh, between uh, Humble, and if you so choose, and thanks so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. Uh, it's organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the tiers at the lower dollar value. And the nice thing with this particular one, at the $1 US tier, or the $1.31 Canadian tier, uh, you kind of get everything you need if you are looking at just getting started with Java. And the cool thing here is O'Reilly Press, they can be a little dull, I guess, but they're also quite good books. So here we've got Java in a nutshell, continuous delivery in Java, uh, technology strategy patterns, Java threads, and then finally Java 8 lambdas. That is probably the nutshell book that you need, well titled, I suppose, in this case. And don't ask me why I am reading from right to left in this case. I just felt like mixing it up. So you can see here, it is the seventh edition. It's always important with this kind of stuff to make sure that you're not getting massively out of date stuff. And here, you are not. It basically it boils down to if there is a single book at any point in this thing, it generally makes sense to buy the entire bundle. Like, don't, no, don't spend money on part of a bundle you don't need. But if you're looking at the $15 tier and you find a single book in here that is worthwhile, your $15 tier is probably worth picking up. So now we're going to jump up to the next tier. This is the $10.50 tier, and that's probably $8 US. We're getting semantic software design, the Kotlin cookbook, real world software development, think Java, and 97 things every Java programmer should know. Now, you may note Kotlin is actually a Java or JVM-based programming language, but it is not Java. It can run on the JVM, but it can also run outside of the JVM. So it's interesting that this one is included here, but Kotlin is also a programming language I am personally interested in. Uh, I've been meaning to learn it forever. I haven't done it. I've now got a couple of books from previous Humble Bundles to learn it, and now I've added one more to my library. But this is made from the makers of uh, IntelliJ Idea, uh, WebStorm, uh, Project Rider, etc. Th those guys, they also made their own programming language called Kotlin. And then we finally get to the $19.69 Canadian tier, also known as $15 US. Here we get GRPC up and running. Uh, we get Quarkus Cookbook, Java Performance, so in-depth. So this is probably one of the more relevant ones. Uh, creating and testing, da 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 uh, I'll just read the, the byline. In-depth advice for tuning uh, and programming Java 8, 11, and beyond for performance. And then we got a cookbook one here as well. Cookbooks tend to be here's how you do X, Y, or Z. And then we've got another uh, Java learning book uh, called Learning Java, uh, fifth edition. This is covering Java 11. Uh, so again, they, they tend to do this. They load the best stuff into the top tier. Uh, if you're looking at things for game development, you're probably going to want to know how to get Java to perform well. And this is one of those kind of downsides you've got with JVM based or sorry, virtual machine based languages. You're going to have some things to learn about. you got to program it in a certain way to get performance. That's not to say that you can't get great game performance out of Java code. Uh, there's tons of Java games out there. It's just you have to know what the individual performance issues are. We've also got the first uh, full-blown learning book here, whereas this one is more of like a, well, it's a summary. This is Cole's Notes or Cliff Notes, depending on what your country from. And in this case, it is just a flat out, here's how you learn Java. All right, so that is the um, the bundle as it stands here. Yep, no more books in there. Uh, the designated chair it is code for America. As I mentioned off the hop, I always buy these bundles to let you know what you're going to get, even if it is really straightforward. And I have a giant library at this point of games. It's kind of insane uh, of books, I mean, on my humble account. And you see here, you get all of the books, every single thing we just saw here, they are available in PDF, EPUB, and Mobi formats. So no matter what device you've got, they have you covered. Uh, there are abilities to uh, email your books over to your Kindle reader, but you're going to find uh, at these sizes, it's probably not going to work for the majority of them. I think there's a 10 megabyte cap there. So you may need to download it locally and send it over or download it directly to your device. Make it really easy if you're on something like uh, an iPad or whatever. The cool thing again here is their stuff is actually, uh, it's hosted on their servers and their servers are always pretty quick. I point this out in most humble videos, for example, for this one is 53 megabytes in size 
and it's going to take me six seconds to download. There, I've got it. So what I often do when I'm reading a humble book is I literally just download it into my browser, active memory. Don't save it to my device. So that way I can go back to it any particular time I want. Uh, so even the biggest PDF here are pretty tiny. You can download them as many times as you want off the Humble server. So you can kind of look at Humble as your uh, virtual library. And the cool thing that you kind of get to eventually is you just go in to your actual account, to your library. You can search for a given topic. And if you've built up a uh, you know, a bookshelf like I have. Almost everything is there if you're looking for it after the fact. So I mentioned off the hop that lab, um, that Java is used for game development. Now, the number one reason and the number one thing I love Java for, because I'm, if I'm honest, not a big Java fan, to be honest. I, I would take C Sharp over Java pretty much every single day, except libgdx. I really like libgdx. In fact, libgdx is one of the frameworks that started this channel. If you go back to the very beginning of the YouTube stuff, I did a tutorial series, first, probably started my third or fourth video I ever did was on libgdx. I, I'm still a big fan of libgdx, uh, especially if you're going to be making uh, a mobile 2D style game and you want to get down at the code level. Uh, libgdx has been used to make a ton of games out there. So um, it's a very mature play. Uh, platform at this point in time, you know, so there's not a lot changing over time, but that's true of most 2D frameworks. You know, at this point in time, there's not a lot of new features being added to the likes of Mono or say Mono Game, uh, XNA, etc., or to say Love 2D, SFML, SDL, Allegro. All of those frameworks are pretty mature at this point in time. And this framework, libgdx itself, does make Java a joy to work with, but it is not the only option out there. There is basic 3D support in libgdx, uh, but it's not really a, libg uh, a 3D framework on the whole. For that, what you probably want to do is move over to the JMonkey engine. I've actually did a hands-on video with JMonkey engine. I'll link that down below. I'll, I'll link my hands on to everything that I can find that's relevant. Uh, this is a full-blown 3D um, game engine editor tool set and so on. So if you want to make complete 3D games using the Java programming language, JMonkey Engine may be a good fit for you. And then the other one here is LWJGL. Now, both of the things I just talked about, uh, JMonkey Engine and um, LibGDX both work on top of LWJGL. This is the lightweight game library. This is more low level. It's abstracting away frameworks such as OpenGL and Vulkan, OpenAL, OpenCL, input handling, and so on. So if you want to build your own game framework from scratch, or your own game engine from scratch, you would probably work with LWJGL underneath it. So if you're looking for a framework for 2D and a little bit of 3D, uh, libgdx. If you're looking for a full 3D game engine, uh, jmonkey engine. If you're looking to build either one of those yourself, lwjgl. Now there is one other option out there. There is the Litty engine. What do I know about Litty engine? Almost nothing. It's a uh, free open source Java 2D game engine, and it's just kind of here because it's it's on my to check out list. So you're getting a bit of a spoiler. I intend to look at this game engine at some point in time. I like their webpage. I like where they're coming from. I know very little about this engine other than the fact that it is an open source 2D, completely Java based game engine. If you do have an opinion on Liddy Engine, let me know that in the comments down below or stay tuned on this channel. Eventually, I will get off my butt, learn this engine, and do a video about it as well. So those are some of the major Java-based technologies out there for making games. Obviously, Java is really important in the world of um, Android development. So that definitely has made Java more and more important. Obviously, it's also used in like academia and uh, enterprise environments as well. Uh, but if you are interested in picking up uh, Java or you want to work with one of those frameworks like JMonkey Engine or LWJGL or LibGDX, etc., uh, and you want to pick up some you know knowledge on how to actually work with Java, well, first off, O'Reilly books tend to be pretty good. And you've got the full swath of what you need to know about here in this particular bundle. All right, so that is it. I forget exactly the name of this bundle. It is the Humble Book Bundle Java Programming and More by O'Reilly Press. Uh, let me know what you think of Java and those game engines specifically down below. If you have additional suggestion, uh, do let me know and I will... Uh well, I probably won't do anything, to be honest, but I, I may cover it at some point in the future, but other people may find that little bit of information useful. Uh, Java is a nice language to develop games in, and uh, again, I am a real big fan of LibGDX. It's one of those things I started this channel with, and it's just a pleasant environment to work in. So uh, that is Java Programming and More by O'Reilly Press. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.